All right, let's get going here. It is I, Eric, the Big E Arnold, here in the secondary studio on Easter, April 4th, 4th, also known as the first, well, I don't even want to say that. We've achieved just that much more freedom here in Pennsylvania as Tommy the Commie, Governor Wolf, has deemed fit to allow uh, just that much more freedom here in PA in that we can now go to a restaurant or a bar. Or we can actually sit at the bar, uh, you know, that the world won't end if we sit at the bar. Uh, as if sitting at the bar has prevented, you know, all this uh, from happening at all. It's nonsense. But at any rate, what do we got here? Five games I wanted to get to you on this Sunday. I wanted to get these five games out there um, just just so we all have some action, right? Um, bad Saturday. Oh, I shut the file. Eh, I'm going by memory. Now let's see. Uh, I don't have to go completely by memory. Here it is. Let's see. Uh, the Yankees did well for us. They got it done. The Indians are just killing us. Just that that team, you know, I have a good friend that's an Indians fan, and he always tells me his team sucks. And I don't think that team does suck, but he always, like it, and most fans, thinks his team's worse than what they actually are. And I think he could be right this time. This is just a team, two excellent spots for the Indians and unable to get it done either time. I think we're just going to have to keep that in mind and be careful now how we play the Indians going forward because they may be a bad team. You know, they've got bad things going on. You know, the, the, the ownership is cheap as hell. The ownership is woke. So woke go broke, you know. It, 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 here's a good idea. If you're the owner of a major league baseball team, why don't you declare war on your own fan base? That sounds good. You know, I think we're going to take the name that we've had for a hundred years and we're going to throw it away. Just throw it away. Um, the mass majority of our fans want to keep the name, but I'm the owner. I'm a Dolan. That right there, that tells you all you need to know. Um, you know, you're saying who's Dolan? Well, he owns the Indians, and then I think it's his brother or his cousin is that idiot that owns the Knicks. So right there, you know, you're talking about genetic morons. So, hey, you know, that's a team that probably has some structural issues, and I guess we just need to pay attention to that going forward. So they've killed us. Um, Texas, I thought, you know... We we weren't in, totally in the wrong place there, you know. Here we got a four nothing lead, and then the new Japanese pitcher that Texas had he just kind of ran out of gas, and Texas apparently just has no bullpen at all. So four nothing turning into a four four eleven or eleven to four, we lose as the Royals score eleven straight runs. I had a good feeling about those Royals and, uh, you know, coming into the season. And maybe that's something we need to look at there, that Rangers could be really bad. Royals may be better than people think. So something to look at there. Um, ah, that Reds uh, Cardinal game. I kind of think that was just maybe a bounce or two that went the wrong way on us. You know, we lost 9-6. to six. I think the game might have been closer than it appeared. So, did I miss one? I missed one. I missed one. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Uh, and then the late night game, uh, we were right that the uh, Seattle would bounce back, and they got saved the made a disaster of a day into just a bad day. They won for nothing. Of course, we lost both the uh, NCAA games, but there's nothing new there. I probably I don't know what a I don't know who I'm going to jinx uh, for Monday. Who who I'm going to put the hex on? Uh, we'll have to think about that. But let's get to our five games here. Um, all right. 
Well, we got, uh, I guess we're going to come right back here with the Yankees. Um, they did well for us uh, yesterday, so we'll take them again, uh, see if they can't uh, get it done. Uh, I mean, the price is a little harsh, but, well, Gary Sanchez is hot. You know, that dude hits home runs in bunches, so he's dangerous right now. So, you know, you got a dangerous Sanchez. Maybe some of these other dudes start spraying the ball around like Urshela or LeMayhew. God, you know, maybe Aaron Judge hits a home run. Uh, no, I it, it, I heard you saying maybe Giancarlo Stanton. No, that's a bridge too far. That dude's, you know. <laughs> if that guy actually hit a home run, oh, my God, yeah, we're going to win. But I, I wouldn't expect that one. Um. We like this game. This is, I don't know why, but we like this game, this Red Sox Oriole game. Just kind of think that it, you know, the Orioles just, the Orioles are the Orioles. They're not that good. Maybe they're not as bad as some people think they are, but they're not that good. And them opening the season 3-0 and and the Red Sox opening 0-3, and I'm going to say the Red Sox find some something today, some pride, some courage, um, some timing, something, hit the ball for Christ's sake, score some runs. So we're going to say they get a couple runs today and we're playing the run line to make it even a shorter price. So we're going to say the Red Sox hit the ball around. It's a nice day. It's a nice day. It's a beautiful day to hit the ball. Go hit the ball, Red Sox. So we're taking the Red Sox there. We like that game. That we put two whatever the hell on it. Uh, Cubs at a steep price, but we'll take them. We like Zach Davies. Uh, it's the Pirates' best player hurt his hand yesterday, didn't he? That that you know Willie Mays Hayes. Uh, and if he hurt his hand, how's he going to hit? You know. So I'm thinking that's advantage Cubs, uh, and uh, we like Zach Davies. Uh, at Wrigley Field today. So we'll take Zach Davies. Um, Dodgers Rockies, this, this has been a pretty ferocious series so far. Um, you know, you had the, the Rockies get the win over a badly played Dodgers team uh, uh, in the opener. Then you had the free for all Friday night with the. Uh, um, Bauer going six innings and then getting shelled, but the Dodgers such, had such a huge lead it didn't matter. And then it was a nip and tuck affair last night. I just can't think the Dodgers are going to wear those guys out. And uh, the Rockies, I think, will just kind of, you know, maybe go away a little bit today. And, and we're probably deep into the bullpens at this juncture in game four. Five, that's five four of a four game set so uh, without question the Dodgers have a deeper bullpen than the Rockies so I would think that it's very possible the Dodgers could be smacking some triple a guys around in the seventh eighth the ninth inning of this game so we'll play the run line um, and think Ariri uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's been a you know a while since we've had live baseball, and I have a bad habit of watching games with the sound off, so I don't have the benefit of announcers telling me the names. But uh, Julio Urias, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I you know we saw him do some business in the playoffs last year, so I think he's a pretty good pitcher. And I don't know. I don't know much about Mr. Gomber, and that's probably there's probably a reason for that. So we'll take Arias. We'll take the run line, Dodgers, and then late night, you know, national TV. Let's have some action, right? We really like this game. We're going to put two uh, two stars, two dollar signs, two whatever on uh, the White Sox. Um, CC pitched well in spring training. Uh, he's a young up and coming pitcher, I guess, just like Otani is. But I, I just don't buy this whole Otani thing. You know, it, it, it Babe Ruth could hit, Babe Ruth could pitch. Babe Ruth is the greatest baseball player of all time. Babe Ruth did not hit and pitch at the same time. I'm just saying. So 
I think this all might be just little too much for poor Mr. Otani. You know, it's just too much, man. It's like, okay, new kid, go out there, pitch at the major league level, which you've never done before. Go hit at the major league level, which you've never done before. Oh, and by the way, learn a new language, which you've probably never done before. Go do all that. I mean, it's just too much. It's too much for this kid. Um, we just think the White Sox are better than the Angels. And, uh, you know, oh, and we get the Mercedes on our side. You know, this dude is what, he's now in the record books all by himself. What, eight straight hits to open a, a career or, or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure how they phrase that because I'm pretty sure he had one at bat last year. So, but he had eight straight hits there. I mean, this kid's, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's going to become a folk hero. He keeps this up. So let's go. Let's uh, go, Mr. Uh, Mercedes. Let's go, Dylan Cease. We're going to take the White Sox. All right, good, great. That's all we got. Let's get this on the Internet so I can relax, watch some baseball this afternoon. Um, I saw the Phillies are 2-0, and if you can believe that, over the uh, sad Braves who lost the All-Star game. I couldn't. I couldn't go there. I couldn't say, oh, well, Phillies are on roll. I'm going to play them and go 3-0. and But I'm not ready to go with the Braves either, so we just left that one alone. Anyway, good, great, thanks. Appreciate everybody that's being here. Anybody that leaves comments uh, in the comment section, we always appreciate that. Uh, the like button, good, great. Um, well, the season's just starting to get going here. Starting to get going, so... It's going to be fun. Talk to you later. Out.